Good afternoon, everybody. My name is uh, Dino Dilawari. Happy to be here talking to you guys about VXRail and ACE today. I just wanted to start with some background, how I got looped into this uh, demo today. Uh, so I, uh, I'm a solution architect at Kawaras. I've been with them for about a year uh, in a consulting role. And prior to joining Kawaras, uh, I was at a large enterprise just like yourself at Casa Permanente, where I was first exposed to the VXRail because part of my job was to incubate new technology. So I first got introduced to VXRail uh, late, uh, early 2017, and now I've been playing, uh, taking a closer, deeper dive into it in, in the last year in our KPSC, which is a Coerce Proven Solution Center, uh, and looking at what's under the cover in VXRail. So today, I'm going to show you what we're going to really talk about is come up, you know, demonstrate a couple of things. First, we're going to talk about uh, what is the VXRail vCenter integration look like. Uh, so when I first got exposed to VXRail, I had to log into a different portal, different GUI altogether to even access VXRail. So now what we're going to show you today is how that's fully integrated with the vCenter now. So you can pretty much do your day-to-day -day task uh, from uh, what you guys are used to probably in the vCenter. And then we'll talk about, it's kind of orders messed up, but we'll also talk about VXRail ACE. Uh, and basically, basically what that is is an analytical engine uh, that does machine learning for your VSQL environment. And then I'll hand it off to Tim to talk about uh, what's new within VSQL. So in the first demo, I only have two slides and then we'll jump into the demo. Um, you know, what's, what I'm going to show you in the VSQL vCenter plugin is, you know, the following, right? I'm not going to show you everything, but I want to show you what I think as a user or administrator, what you might be, um, of what might be, what you might see useful. So I'll show you the monitoring of overall cluster health, what that looks like, how you can uh, see that from vCenter, uh, adding a disk to a node, uh, expanding, a, expanding a cluster, you know, from a scale-out perspective, show how easy that is to do that in VSQL. Uh, we can also show a cluster shutdown, but I will obviously not do that in the demo. And then obviously the main reason is to kind of do show you the full stack upgrade of the VSQL systems. We'll kick off the upgrade, but we'll not show you, but I promise to give you a, um, you know, a video, which is kind of a relapse or a shorter version of the whole upgrade, because upgrade might take four to five hours. And then very importantly, I, I'm a big fan of everything that's API. I want to expose you guys to the VHL public REST API, because uh, that's another thing that I think has gotten a lot better in the last two and a half years. So we'll show you how to access the API, and we'll also execute a couple of calls uh, to show you what cluster information, you know, get cluster information using API calls and host information. And then we'll quickly jump into the main meat of the demo, I think, uh, uh, which is the analytical consulting engine I talked about. So all that is doing is, so first of all, it's, it's out of the box. Um, it's available to you if you buy VHRail. It's a SaaS offering. We'll kind of talk about what it takes to enable that. But it's giving you that, you know, overall centralized reporting for all of your VHRail, right? So if you're a customer with hundreds of sites, now you have a single po uh, point of, portal that you can go to access, you know, high-level information for your, from your reporting, monitoring, and those kind of things. You also can do quick assessment for health scoring, uh, look at some anomalies in uh, performance, and do, but most importantly, you will be able to do the full management of the cluster management that facilitates upgrade. So what that means is you will be able to use ACE to pre-stage your VSRail upgrades, uh, and in the future release, you will be also be able to uh, not only pre-stage the bundle, uh, the software bundle, but also do the upgrade itself from uh, from the ACE manager. So what that means is you no longer have to log into each individual vCenter to go to the upgrade. Uh, if you choose to, you can do that from the ACE manager. So uh, these are the only two slides I have. I'm going to quickly jump over to my browser here. Uh, first thing I'm going to quickly show you is how to log show you the vCenter plugin for VXRail. So I'm just logging into my vCenter client here. So now you can see I'm logged into my vCenter uh, client for v, uh, for VXRail. So what I, what's new in here is, so like I said before, 
about a couple of years ago, uh, as you may call, if you're if you're using vCenter and or familiar with VXO a couple of years ago, you had to log into a different GUI. So now, uh, first of all, you know, just to give you a summary tab view of your VXO, but I'm quickly going to just jump over to a couple of. Uh, I want to focus my um, demo on monitor and the configuration tab. So first thing I want to show you on a monitor is. If you come down now, you see this new tab uh, as you should be as well, and it has kind of sub tab. So before this plugin, you didn't really have this available. I like this because it's a kind of an interactive menu. So if I want to just look at my VXL appliance, you can come <clears throat> see that here. And you can further, you know, you can click on this and take actions. Uh, so this is kind of basically showing you you have four nodes in your appliance, it's going to give you the ID and all those kind of information. but you know, if you drop down on the action, it gives you some other menu item, like you can shut down the host if you wanted to. You can add a disk to this uh, node via this menu. You can remove the host from a cluster. So quickly, I'm just going to show you uh, how, how easy it is to add a disk. I probably don't have a disk to add, so you won't go to the full menu, but I just want to show you. So, say I have inserted. One of the things I like about this uh, menu is you may not be in front of the data center, so you Say okay, I want to give me a suggestion on what disk slot should I use. So if you want a capacity disk versus a cache disk, I'm gonna say I want two capacity disks. It's actually gonna go look through, you know, the back end and kind of give you a suggestion. Oh well, based on your capacity need, you ask for two disks. You have slot three and four that you can add these two disks to. Once you added the disk, you know you can verify, validate, and complete the addition. And it's a similar kind of a thing for when you are trying to add a host uh, within this environment. So quickly get out of this. Um, like I said, you can look at view host details if you wanted to. And once you do that, it will give you a sub menu for that specific host. So you can do things like, you know, I want to look at this network port, right? Is it up or not? You can actually click on it. You can click on the storage disk information, and then it'll give you a subtask, or either replace the disk and those things. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna quickly get back out of here. And the only other thing I wanna show in this menu was uh, this last configuration. I like this feature if you're troubleshooting, this is a quick way to kinda, you know, get you all the information that you need for the your VSRail. You can quickly hit download and it will download the last configuration, uh, last good configuration. So in case you are troubleshooting, you can upload that to a case or something like that. Uh, next, I'm going to go into the configure tab. Uh, here, you actually have a lot of uh, menu options within your VXRail. Again, this was not available before the plugin. So I normally perform most of my tasks when I'm using this menu in this configure tab. So I'll start with the system. This at least just kind of giving you, you know, what version you're running on and those kind of things. Again, we'll come back to the update. If you wanted to do a VSO manager update via, you know, we a plugin, this is the menu you would do it here. Um, we're at the latest version here already, but if you had a, you know, a version available, you can come. It will recommend what the real version is. So you can simply just do an internet update or you can do a local update, uh, which I'll show you later. I also like the certificate feature that they have built in. So prior to the plugin, you know, in order to get your SSL certificate, you have to log into the VSO manager, copy it, then kind of do a FTP or secure copy over and, you know, get that get the SSL certificate work to work. Now, if you just simply paste it here and kind of update it and go about it. Um, I mentioned adding a VSO host. This menu option is here as well. If you had a host to add, you could come add the host here. Uh, there's also support features in here. Uh, that you can talk to, so, and then networking. I'm not going to go through all this. So I'm going to quickly jump over to transition into ACE because it ties in here. So as you can see within the support tab, you know, you have this uh, VHL ACE analytical consulting engine available to you. You can simply click here and it will just, you know, bring in the ACE menu because it's a SaaS offering. But I quickly wanted to show you uh, to get this to work, you have to have those who are familiar with Dell already support you have to have your ESRS, which is a secure remote service, enabled. Once you enable that for your VxRail, it will start populating into the SaaS engine VxRail. So I just clicked on VxRail Ace. Uh, so it's just vxrail.emc.com. I'm already authenticated based on my uh, single sign-on. So as you can see, 
Now, what you were seeing in your, you know, my week square client, if you were paying attention, you know, you see, you know, one side and you see a couple of VX rail. Once you come into the ACE, it's giving you the global view. So this is all my VX rails in your environment, right? So think of these as three different remote sites, uh, three stores, right? So these are three different VX rail environments or within your, or three different regions in your overall global organization. I'm going to hone in on, uh, we have three, right? So I'm going to, in this site, we have a couple of VX rail cluster. This is actually our uh, VCF cluster, which we just stood up uh, as part of our demo lab, uh, which we're working on, but we're going to focus on uh, these clusters here. Um, so first of all, within ACE, um, to go give you a step back, this is going to give you a global view here. So if I'm a, you know, a senior manager or a director who I don't want to get, you know, caught up in the bees, I just want to get reporting, uh, I think this is a great tool uh, for that audience as well as the administrator. You can come here, uh, you can get a global view of your environment. Um, this is telling you uh, how many of your VSO manager versions are running that specific version. So the, obviously 4.10 is the latest, so you can see you have some upgrades to do here. Uh, you have your health score alarm at the site level, but we're gonna hone in on the um, one individual VSO. So this is the individual VSO view. So first of all, it's just giving you a summary view, uh, which will let it populate. It's gonna give you, you know, your site ID, your cluster ID, and all those kind of information. Um, then I'm gonna quickly go over to the health score. I like this feature, uh, out of the box available to you. So the way the ACE works, the reason why it's called the machine learning for your VSO, the longer you have VSO in, in your environment, the better it's gonna get at analyzing the data because it's collecting it. So we'll take a quick look here. This is giving you a health score of 95, and I'll kind of explain why it, how it makes up that score. But if you go to health score details, it's giving you, for example, you know, every impact is giving you a rating, it's taking away two points from that overall score of 95. And I did this on purpose. This is kind of telling you that you have your Mystic account password uh, is set to default, which is a no-no. And then here are some of the anomalies. It's saying it's giving you a, it's kind of a letting you proactively check your environment. It's, uh, it's uh, the anomaly behavior is detected on this usage average in the last 24 hours. So kind of give you a quick insight, okay, something's going on, you can go take a quicker, uh, you know, deeper look. And I'm gonna quickly switch over to storage so we can actually see that. Uh, so within the storage tab, you know, you have your overall capacity and your usage trends. And I like this feature as well because this uh, VSO has been with us since uh, early December last year. And since we've been decommissioning the VMs out of this environment, it's actually kind of giving you a prediction that your future storage trend is actually lower. Uh, normally not the case when most organization, but at least, you know, it will start giving you that usage trend uh, over period. And I want to go into the performance so we can actually look at the anomalies a little bit. So overview of performance, giving you the basic CPU, memory, disk networking uh, information. But if you want to dive deeper into it here, uh, if you look at performance detail, I have uh, one of my nodes selected in here and I can span this to, let's do it for last one week or last, well, here you go, right? Last one week, you see the flat, is, it's pretty flat and there's a peak here. So you can, you know, you can pinpoint your troubleshooting and I will do that for each of the component, uh, disk, CPU, memory, and networking. And you can see the anomalies being detected here. Uh, according to this, it has to detected 12 anomalies and these how it's defining the anomalies is based on these peaks, uh, based on the average. And you can layer multiple servers on uh, the node or do it at an individual level. Uh, I, moving on, this is the VM tab. And if you, you want to get a high level view of how many VMs are running into that, in that VSO cluster, how many are powered on, how many are powered off, uh, that kind of information. And I'm going to quickly switch over to the update, which I believe is the most important feature of ACE and where that's where I like where this product is going. So what this is showing you, let me actually do a global view here. It's gonna quickly show you all your VX rails in your region or that site, um, in this case, San Ramon, showing you three. And I'll tell you what current version of your VX rail is and what the available upgrade path is. 
not only will it tell you that, and then it's going to tell you, so let's pick, since these two are at the latest, if I pick this, this is telling me that, you pick this actually, uh, it's going to tell you you're currently on 4.7301, but I don't need to really upgrade everything. Uh, so in this case, VMware vCenter server is already at 6.7, so it considers that up to date and it doesn't need to upgrade. Uh, and then once you do decide that you want to upgrade, what it allows you to do, it allows you to do a pre-check of your environment, over that VSQL environment here to show you, okay, um, make sure that everything is in sync before you do the upgrade. And then it also allows you to download this 4.741 version and pre-stage it for you uh, onto your VSL manager. And what's coming in the future uh, in a matter of weeks is you also have the option called download and upgrade. So within here, you can come here and, you know, you no longer have, you know, you don't have to go log into anywhere. You can just simply do that from ACE. There's all these complete checks you would want to do to make sure uh, you're ready for upgrade. But if you wanted to, you could do that. So that's all your software distribution pro uh, problem, uh, getting that box is there and kind of having that schedule. Uh, let me quickly show you a, what a pre-check looks like. Uh, I'm going to do a pre-check here. And I'll just show you uh, one of the old reports since uh, currently I'm troubleshooting this. Um, let's see, I think this one was. So this one was, I had uh, up, you know, initiated uh, go ahead and download the bundle it was successful what i want to show you is so this is i Pre-check. So once you run a pre-check, it gives you a report like this. So basically, what this report is showing you, it did a total of 311 checks. It found one error. It has 26 warning and 284 of the checks are uh, successful. And you can do that, you know, massively. You can select, you know, 10 clusters at a time and go through this check. In addition to giving you the errors and the warnings, and giving you a knowledge-based article to how to fix the error that you that it, it, it saw. And uh, normally also, if you want to, if you're interested in looking at the warnings, you can have a knowledge base article there as well. Um, so I, I really feel this is really powerful uh, for environments who have uh, many locations. Uh, it will become very easier, very easily, very easy to kind of do the LCM for your VXO upgrades. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to stop here for any questions because uh, I've been talking for a while.